Hey everybody, Angry Macho here, and it is time for us to head towards the, what is it now, the seventh Colossus that we're on? And this is going to be Sea Snake, so let's see where we need to head, and it looks like we need to head northwest-ish for this guy. Now, this is actually my second take of this, the first one the sound got out of sync and so I'm doing it over. But uh, I did learn something from my first time through, and it's that there's an easy way and a hard way to get to this Colossus. Now you want to start either way by going across the uh, bridge that we went across to head towards the uh, second and third colossi. Oh look at the bird. I, you know, Phoenix actually told me that he read online that uh, if you jump off of the horse, you jump off of Aggro's back and you grab R1 and, and you can actually can grab onto the birds and like fly around until your grip meter runs out. Which sounds pretty cool to me, but I've never actually seen a video of it or done it myself so I can't confirm. I mean, I don't know be epic if you could, though. Alright, so, easy way and a hard way to get to this Colossus. The hard way is to look at this uh, rock face here and decide to go to the left. That will take you through, like, a maze of tunnels to, like, or not tunnels, but, like, canyons where you'll eventually get to the Colossus. Or, you can take the easy way and go to the right of that big pile of rock right there. And you can look at the map and tell why there's an easy way and a hard way, because the right, I'm just going to go through an open field, circle around until I get to it. And now that's through the left, there's clouds and such there, which generally means that it's going to be complicated trying to get through there. Ugh. Oh man, my stomach's starting to tighten up. I've been having some problems with my wisdom teeth lately. They're uh, erupting through the gums, basically growing into my mouth. and Very painful pr process. But like the dentist has like refused to prescribe me anything it's other than like magic mouthwash. I kid you not, they have given me magic mouthwash. That's exa that's what it's called. It says this on the container. I'll include a picture. Yeah, it's very strange. I couldn't believe it when he told me about it. He's like, I'm gonna prescribe you some magic mouthwash, and I was just like, oh, why is it called that? And he was like. Oh, no, that's actually called that. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> what is in it? I know, yeah, it's apparently it's like a cocktail of, like, multiple drugs. But, uh, yeah, that and acetaminophen are, like, trying to fight back the pain right now, but it's not working very well. Thankfully, LPing distracts me from it, as long as I don't talk about it while I'm LPing. Hmm. All right. Let's get a little update on where we're going here. It looks like we're headed the right way. That is not a white-tailed lizard. But we are headed straight towards the right Colossus, so we may even get to fight him in this video. How awesome would that be? Last video took me 10 minutes just to get through the uh, maze of tunnels because I went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, the benefits of re-recording. We're going to take a stop off at the save shrine here to pick up a lizard. So hopefully we can uh, get him quickly so we can move on to the Colossus. Perhaps finish him in this video, perhaps not. I'm not going to rush it. There's no way to, to rush it. Alright, let's take a look at the terrain. Sometimes they'll be on the ground around the shrine. Most of the time they're on it. There he is, I see him up top. Knocked him down, but it didn't kill him. Ah, shoot. Alright, well, he's running off now. Oh, shit, there he goes. Did I get him? I think I might have just... I did, I just sniped him. Nice. He's got him in the move. Hit him in the torso, it's a one-hit kill. Hit, and not hit around them, they'll fall off. Om nom nom nom. Well, that could, couldn't have gone better. Didn't even have to oh, climb. Oh, I figured something out in between videos here. You don't have to run up to aggro and press X to jump onto her and try to get it to work. You actually can just like leap towards her and grab R1 and Wander will grab onto aggro just like he'll grab on any of the Colossi. Which, I mean, makes sense, right? If you can grab onto like a beard, you definitely can like hang onto his horse. I mean, that would make sense, right? And there's other stuff you can do, too. If you hold down R1 and then push to, like, uh... I forget how to do it. Yeah, yeah. Hold down R1, you can stand up on top of the... On, on top of aggro. Which, you I mean, you'll, you'll slow down to a crawl, since you can't actually steer aggro while you're doing that. Are we, uh... Yeah, we're getting near the Colossus here. I don't think I need aggro for this. We'll just let her go horseplay around some more. <laughs> Look at that. I love the environments here. Music change. Oh, look at that. There's there's the Colossus right there. I don't know if y'all can tell, but there's some sparkles under the water there. 
Ooh, gosh. There's a, there's a side effect of these feet of mine. I got some serious bubbles in my stomach right now. And there's a... That's that's the thunder of which Dorman... What? Psh. Well, I guess there's another platform there. Anyway, why don't I make it over to the spiral thing? And I don't think that there's anything up at the top here, but I'm going to go ahead and check. Oh, gosh. And just in case. Man, I don't feel very well right now. It doesn't matter that it's like hot as hell in this dorm room. Jeez. I don't know what it is, but like either our either our air conditioner is broken, or they've like turned it off because it's January. But yeah, ooh, look there he is. Let's just, let's go for it. Wee! Boom! Hit the water and you'll trigger the fight. You don't have to actually climb the thing first. I just wanted to check and see if there's anything up there, and there's not. So now we get a view of the Colossus. Just just like any other cutscene, we can control the camera here. I don't. Oh, there there he is. There's Sea Snake. Oh well, gosh, they did a good job of getting the textures to look like they're supposed to. It definitely looks like he's underwater right now. Oh gosh, look at the uh, whiskers on him. That's so cool. That's that's so that's just such an oriental like dragon snake kind of creature. That's so epic. All right, now I'm not sure what we need to do to get this guy's attention. He may already know where we are. I'm gonna get the camera to go underwater for a significant portion of this fight, so I can see where he's going. Hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much. But what we need to do is get near him such that he, like, lunges up out of the water at us. And, like, in the process, ex yeah, here he goes, he's doing it. And you just swim past him so I don't get shocked by those things. His tail is going to come up out of the water just a little bit behind where he uh, emerges. So I think if I wait right here, I should be able to grab it. I think I'm in the right place. Oh, maybe I'm too far back. I hope not. Oh, got him! Awesome! That's exactly what you want to do. And now when he goes underwater, you're not going to be able to move. You just need to hang on to R1, and don't let him uh, throw you off by dragging you around under the water. Oh, look at that music change already. This is going great. All right, now we're still underwater here. we got to wait until we're above the surface. And then we can quickly let go of R1 and try to move forward a little bit before we resubmerge. Now, there will be a point where you come up for a second, just like that, and then you'll come up again long enough to actually do something. And I'm above the water here so I can wait just until I see aggro. Wait, not aggro. Aggro's on the sh shore over there. She's not in any danger at all. All right. Now, if you do this right, you can do this whole Colossus in a... Uh, one grab, one successful grab. If you screw it up, it can take longer than that. So, whoop! Turn back on again. Let's get our sword out. Well, I can't change right now because water's occupied by keeping himself alive, I guess. Alright. He's with both hands now. I need to get here and stab this quickly. Shit! He's got shocked. Did Wander hang on? He did. Oh, R1, what a magical button you are. You need to get right behind this thing and just give it a good stab. And that'll turn it off. See, it stopped there. Now that back uh, spike is no longer electrocuting the water. We need to get up to the next one. Quickly. Give it a stab, Wander. Oh, did I get it enough to stop it? I did, okay. Just severely avoided taking damage there. Which could mean taking damage in theory could mean you get thrown off the Colossus, which would be very bad at this point. And thankfully, we've been able to bubble the water so much up, up until now that I have plenty of grip left. So if he decides to do something crazy, I should be able to survive it. They do, they do, they do, do occasionally. Oh, did I, I didn't get him. I'm taking some serious hits here. Shit, shit. I gotta let go. He's gonna kill me if I don't. Damn it. Okay, well. Yeah, he's swimming around underwater now. We would have lost him anyway, because he stays underwater for, for this portion of the fight. He stays under there for so long that he will drown you. I mean, there's nothing you can do to avoid it. Oh, well, I mean, he won't drown you, but he'll run your grip meter all the way down so that you're forced to let go. And we just need to swim over and sort of follow him around. We need to get position on him again so we can get onto his back once more. And from there, we're just going to run back up to the front and get that last uh, spike out of the way before we go for the sigil on his head. There's no other way to get to it because there's no way to run... I at least... I don't think it's possible to run past the spikes. I need to go back up for air here. I think I'm in right the, the right place. It, oh, don't you... Don't you turn your head away from me and go back underwater. What are you doing, son? Get up here. Come on. I'm waiting for you, man. I'm waiting for you. Don't shock me, dude. I got enough of that. I got enough of that in the last bit there. Alright, alright, come on. 
Come on. We're waiting for the tail to, to appear here. Here it comes. Here it comes. Whoop. Oh wow! I, I got. I grabbed on a little bit. Er, a little bit farther forward this time around. All right, we're running up on the time limit here. I gotta watch out. Yeah, there you go. Do a do a barrel roll. That'll get rid of me. <laughs> Good strategy, man. Good strategy. All right. Well, I think that in the next episode we are gonna continue fighting the sneeze stakes, and I'll see you guys then.